Market day is here. Welcome back. We are in line at Starbucks. There was no one in line. This is such a rare occurrence that I obviously had to get it. Um, I got a grande chai tea latte, hot, made without water. Sometimes they put water in, sometimes they don't. When they put water in, not good, not good. So if you ever get one or you want to order one, always ask without water. Sometimes they'll look at you like you're crazy and be like, we never put water in. And other times they like, I've asked many baristas and they all tell me different things. Some put water in and some don't. So whatever, an old recipe said put water in, a new recipe said don't, and it just depends what one they print. So we're ready. I woke up at 4.12 a.m. I did not need to get up at 4.12, but I did because my husband got up out of bed and I have a really hard time going back to sleep once I wake up. And I had like a bad dream about, you know, things that um, upset me. Um, dying type stuff so I was already like I just need to get up so I watched YouTube I edited a TikTok, Instagram and YouTube video all the same video just put it on all platforms so that's all done for today and then now we're just heading there it's 7 10 a.m. in the morning and we're on track to get there by 8 and we just need to be set up by 9 45 so I should be good I'm still really nervous about like loading and unloading by myself so <laughs> So I'll update you guys once we get to the um, art center and then we'll we'll film some more. So I'll see you then. Bye. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I want to burn all the bridges between us
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unknown brain. Marvin Divine. Uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried, saying that I wasn't right, just I was right by your side. You may we have this little podium that was like next to my booth, and so now it is mine, and it's my new checkout stand. So um, hopefully no one takes it away from me. <laughs> also, it's a nice little check-in with you guys. I think the market has started. So it is a 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. It's a long day, and I've been up since 4.12. So we'll see how my energy goes. I'm right next to Ariel, you guys saw, in my semi walk through I am listening um, it's making some of you sick when I walk and um, it makes me sick uh, editing it so I get it we're gonna do uh, more like pausing and filming less walking and filming until I get a stabilizer and honestly that's just not in the budget at the moment even though it's like $15 um, so we have our water to stay hydrated we are near the bathroom so that's great. I actually don't like um, the way it looks with my water, so I'm gonna keep my water down on the ground. We'll see how long until I want to sit. So I need to figure out where I want to put my uh, chair without like creeping people out, you know? Um, and yeah, we're ready to go. I did my like market exclusive. I do like a sale type thing every market. This one's gonna be half off tumblers and glasses with a $30 in a purchase. Um, just to try to start discontinuing them and get them off my setup because I have more important things to sell. <laughs> I want to just focus on my coping skills sweatshirts and then my um, bookmarks and Stanley Charms is the goal. And I also have a ton of those mystery grab bags. So hopefully, I'm hoping they sell and I don't have to take them home because getting in here with hard. This is an upstairs venue and leaving is going to be hard because I'm parked like a block and a half away so I'm a little nervous about how much stuff I have to take home. If I could just like sell it all, amazing. <laughs> if I could just not come back with as much stuff as I came with, that is the goal. Because, you know, sometimes we come back with more than we came with. <sighs> Let's see how that goes. Okay, our end update. We have made one sale and it was a grab bag sale and it's from someone that I did a market with um, in Troy la two weekends ago and she's like oh I remember your setup and so she's outside right now um, or I would show you her booth but it's just me so I can't really go outside I took some window footage but that's the best I'll probably get I might try to venture out later because Ariel can watch my booth if I need to it's very slow right now so like technically I could probably go outside if I wanted right now I'm just I'm gonna eat lunch though. And oh, for lunch. We brought. We need to go get it. Um, hold on. For lunch, we're having all these best <laughs> California roll. And I think they're thawed now. They might not be. I need to go get them. Hopefully, this. I feel like sushi usually fills me up, and this is a big one. It was $4.99. There's no way I can eat all that. Well, throughout the day, I probably could. I think they're ready. So I'm gonna eat this, <laughs> and then I'll check back in with you. So we're at $10 right now, but this was only a $45 fee. So like, really, I'm hoping it's gonna be something I don't lose money on, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Looking a little rough here. Um, what time is that? I just looked. I literally just looked. 2.52. Check in. Been open since 10. We are... My knees are hurting. I've been standing a lot. I've been tempted to make things to occupy my time. But here's the thing. I don't want to come home with more stuff than I came with. And so I made two charm necklaces and that's it. I've sold... So far, three mystery bags, or two or three mystery bags. I've literally not used my card reader at all, or I'd have those stats. I sold one mama embroidered sweatshirt, and then a cup. 
so it's it's been it's been slow for sure i don't know if people just don't know that we're on the second floor and maybe they just think it's an outdoor event but i know i know there's signs it's just it's just slow it's so nice outside it's windy um but it's like weather wise in the 70s so it is nice i was hoping there'd be more like foot traffic i don't know we have four three hours left yeah three hours left and then i have to pack everything up by myself and go home i'm just really wanting to not have as much stuff to take to the car obviously for obvious reasons and financial reasons um, but I feel like that's not going to happen. At the moment, I am taking just as much stuff home. Just minus a couple of bags. But those were in my front seat. So that's not really even helping me get stuff into my back seat. It's going to be a struggle. It's going to be a struggle. The weight of the bins to get in my truck by myself. I might have to ask for help from someone. I did not mention. <laughs> of course. Um, I have another poison oak outbreak. <laughs> And I know why, I know why. You would think at this point I would, I was just like rolling around in poison oak, and I probably was. But the leggings I wore, I washed them, but apparently I should have washed them more than once because I now have poison oak on top of my poison oak scars. So that's fun. If you can picture, my skin tone is obviously red and pale. Um, poison oak for my skin turn like when you're done with it it turns purple and I have photos next week so what am I gonna wear do I have a whole maxi dress with long sleeves I don't but I might need to find one because I had a dress from Goodwill picked out that I think I showed it on my channel it's a long sleeve but it's a mini dress and I guess I could put makeup on my leg. I don't have any foundation. Um, I can go buy some, but yeah, that's what we're dealing with. We're very itchy. We have the pink color, the spray on, whatever it's called. I have a couple areas on my arm. I'm a little confused why my arm is breaking out. So, and I can't remember what shirt I wore, but obviously that is probably why whatever bra I had on is still breaking me out. But the leggings, I soaked it in Dawn dish soap. And so I put it through again, and I'll probably do that again, just to make sure. My husband was like, um, you just need to throw them away, like at this point. And I was like, over my dead body, am I throwing away Lululemon leggings? That is not happening. I am going to soak the heck out of those things in Dawn over and over before I get rid of them, because I love them. And I do not need to buy a new pair. Hopefully next time I'm on here, I give you better news, but I've just been hanging out with Ariel and then my other vendor friend, Amy, um, who's in a different room, but like nearby, so. See you soon. 518 check-in, we have 40 minutes left. I did sell more grab bags. Actually, oh, I forget her name. She makes really, really cute crochet and, um, like scrunchy, I don't know. She's really nice. That she, I think, got four of yes, four of my grab bags, and then I had a couple of other people get them. So I would say we, we sold like half the grab bags, which is great because I don't want to take them home. I am taking some home though, um, but I, they are they are leaving, and that's wonderful because they have made my booth fee and all that. So we're happy about that also sold to my vendor friend Amy a strawberry bookmark and then I sold a strawberry cup. I think I told you guys that one though. Uh, I don't know if I've had any other sales than the grab bags and the tumbler. I did like the tumbler deal was if you spent over 30 you got a uh, half off a tumbler or half off a glass cup so I've sold two of those half offs which also is good. So. Um, I'll check in at 6. I probably won't do like unloading on my camera just so I don't trust myself um, to not break this. But I'll check, definitely check in with you again before we go home. It is 5.31 and people are dropping like flies um, everywhere. But I'm staying until 6. Hopefully because they're all leaving, 
the parking situation that is going to be a mess will be figured out by then. So. Um, oh, I guess I should, I never do like an ending. No, I'm not going to do one. It looks the exact same. So picture my booth the exact same. It doesn't look like, you know some people it, it's like cleared out. I didn't sell out of anything, so um, I guess I could do one for you. We did sell out of one strawberry cup, so by that, I mean I have more at home. I just didn't bring them. I forgot my extra battery, so I am dying in like two seconds, so I'm gonna close it here and I'll see you guys when I get home to go over numbers and everything. And by that, I mean probably tomorrow. <laughs> see ya. Hello again. It's only been a day. I've been really good. I'm updating you within 24 hours. So here's the rundown of the show. It was 10 to 6. I said that a million times. It was a long show. It was a one day. We love one days. It was only so 30 miles away from where I live, but 50 minutes, 45 to 50 minutes driving because it's all back roads, um, which isn't bad. It didn't feel like it was long by any means. And I had Starbucks on the way and it was delicious. So <laughs> um, I thought it was very slow, like it felt slow. Just There just was not much foot traffic whatsoever. But with that being said, I did the math. I <laughs> made more in that show in one day than I did in three days for my last show in Troy. So it was worth it to me. It was only $45 for my booth. It ended up looking really cute in my 6x12 spot. I did have some area, I showed it in the video, where I put a chair off to the side too because I had that pool there that like no one was beside me. Um, people did end up coming beside me though because some tents were blowing away. It was very windy outside. I'm glad I did not switch to an outside spot because I was contemplating that, but it was very windy. Um, do I think I would get more sales like outside? Honestly, probably not because here's the thing. I think I only had three actual customers that came to the show that bought from me. One of them is named Emma or Emily and she was really sweet and then she added me on TikTok after and um, she's really cute. She was definitely a show person but almost every one of my sales came from vendors. Actually one specific vendor and if I could remember, oh her name's Brittany. She has the same name as me, easy to remember. Um, same spelling too. She is a crochet artist, such cute stuff. I will link anyone I like talk to, I'm gonna link their stuff below because there were some really cool vendors here and I appreciated the variety of them. Uh, there was not like a ton of any specific group. Actually, there was a decent amount of crochet vendors there. Brittany stuff, mm, so cute though. Um, but Brittany kept buying mystery bags from me. So thank goodness I put together those mystery bags, the grab bags, because that's like, that was my main seller. I sold all of them, but seven? No, six, because I had another vendor. Um, oh, I wish I knew her name. I forget, like, unless it's Brittany, like something, like a relative name. I always end up forgetting it. Um, but as I was walking out, she bought a second one. So obviously they liked them. Brittany got four of them. <laughs> She gave some to her mom though, um, and then this other vendor got two, so um, we love that. But that was majority of my sales were those. I only sold one bar bookmark, which is strange because like that's normally the what I sell the most of, and I did sell a couple cups thankfully. I got rid of one tumbler. I had that deal. Um, I want to say I've already updated this. Brittany actually bought it. Um, well, technically her mom did, uh, where she got half off because she spent. She actually spent probably half of what I made. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. And yeah, let's just do numbers, I guess, because that's where we're at with it. I sold $200 in card and $74 in cash. Some of the card was split with Venmo. So we made $274 and it was only a $45 table fee. So uh, absolutely worth it. I would definitely do it again. Kelsey is who like threw it together. Monarch Designs is her business. It was very organized, very structured. I didn't have like, I didn't have any questions. Like I knew where I was going. I like everything was laid out really well. It, it just, it made life easier for me as a vendor going and not feeling stressed about where am I? What's this and that? Like, like 
when I did the eclipse one and they didn't give us any time of like when we could actually get in the building or when we had to leave by like nothing none of that um so yeah I would for sure do it again I know it was very slow I think that it would pick up in years coming if I didn't have the vendor sales like I might not be saying the same thing but I did and so I think that says something <sighs> what I spent gas wise I probably only spent like 10 or 15 dollars in gas food wise i brought a five dollar box of sushi which i will not do in the future it had chopsticks on the front of it and i in my mind i was like they give you chopsticks they did not i was so gross um there was a bathroom right next to me but like it just was not i would need to bring a fork i i guess i could get it again and bring a fork but it was not like something you want to be eating when you have customers <laughs> Um, and then for dinner, I'm not going to count that because I wasn't even at the show anymore, but on my way home, I did pick up Skyline for Randy and I. Um, and then what I bought is I bought, okay, so Sugar Fix was there, which is so delicious. It's a baked good place. If you saw my Troy video, I bought stuff from them in that video and they were there again. It was technically her cousin that was working it, um very nice I forget her name too <laughs> but I had to stop because Randy and I loved the cookies we had and so I'm like what well, I need s'mores again that was so good we already ate one of them I have another one for tonight we split it um at bedtime well while we're watching like a movie or tv and then I also picked up this salted caramel one and chocolate chip salted caramel chocolate chip sea salt caramel chocolate chip it's gonna be good and then she sold me on she said the cake pops are her favorite and she had three of them while she was there and so i picked up two birthday cake cake pops that actually might go in my belly here in a second and um and then i also from amy amy's business alchemy apothecary i think i said that correctly um she has like such a like minimalistic beautiful setup where she's in and out in like a minute probably <laughs> because she could just like put everything in one bag and not have to like carry a big cart um i need to get my setup to a spot where i'm not bringing as much stuff as i do unless it's like a three day and yeah and then i would but like one days i did not need to bring all this stuff i didn't sell out of a single thing <laughs> even though i said i sold out of strawberry cups i found a strawberry cup like it was there the whole time i just forgot to put it out so i didn't sell out of it <laughs> um but back to this i got one of her eye creams so she makes this this is called her beauty sleep overnight under eye cream and it only has four ingredients in it and which is amazing especially when I can say this a million times. I'm on Accutane and I need stuff that's not gonna like hurt me. It's olive oil, mango butter, argan oil, and essential oil. And um, you can wear this during the day too. She says it gives you like a really nice like glow underneath. So I'm so excited. My eye cream right now, I'm like just about out of it. And I don't have any in my Ipsy stashes anywhere. So we needed that. So in total, I spent, let me add this up, I spent 15, just kidding, $14 at Sugar Fix on three cookies and two cake pops. Honestly, I think it's a good deal. And then um, the under eye cream was only $15 and eye cream is just so expensive anyways. So what is that? 10, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, $29. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. Plus like the cookies are a fun treat. Since I didn't get lunch and didn't spend money there, um, it was worth it. So, yeah, I'm excited. I would love to do more, like, ex inexpensive shows, like that one-day ones. I could get into that. So, that was the show Breakdown. Um, it was in Middletown, Ohio. If any, were, you were, if any of you were curious and you're from Ohio and, like, the Dayton area, um, definitely check out monarch designs um just like follow them and see if i know she said she for sure is going to do another spring fest i think she's going to do more in the summers we talked a little bit she's going to do more events and then um downtown middletown inc dmi check them out on facebook because they partnered with her but they always really i'm sorry they always release a ton of events and i'm definitely going to do more of those in the future because they're typically one day ones and 
we like that and downtown Middletown's just really cute I'd never act I want to go there soon and just like explore the downtown because I was talking to another couple of girls who have a comic book shop there it's opening on May 4th um, but they were so funny and sweet and they did just a bunch of cool people there and oh I met someone of the vendor like next to me was from my town and I don't know a lot of people here still like I just moved here a couple years ago uh, but I thought that was like random that we're both from the same town it's probably not that random but it is like we don't live in Middletown um yeah and anyways and that concludes my show um i didn't have any negative like experiences or interactions everything and everyone was super friendly and i enjoy that <laughs> very much and then positive oh so many fun like nice people i definitely i recommend you trying them i think like i said future wise even though it was really slow they're really kind the people that came were like really kind and i made money and you know the last like month i've lost money every show so <laughs> it is a win a win is a win and now i'm heading out thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy these i have so many more markets coming up <laughs> and if you want to be on the journey with me subscribe thank you so much bye